Hey, Lysandra Everett here giving you the update on what happened on Vikings Season 2, Episode 2. I think it's called Invasion. I'm not sure, but whatever. Okay, so um, here we go. Season 2, um, Episode 2 kicks off four years later. So in the last episode, um, Lagertha left. And so here we are four years later. So Oslog and uh, Ragnar have two sons, one son, one on the way. Okay, so she's just popping out babies. Okay, Oslog is popping out babies. So they're getting ready to raid West, sell West and raid. All right. So in the last episode, Ragnar, King Horik, and y'all, Jarl Borg. That's a tongue twister. Okay, so they all agree they're going to make peace, right? They're going to make peace and sail west together. Well, come time to sail west, and King Horik tells Ragnar, I don't trust y'all, Bur- y'all Borg. I don't want him to go. So you, Ragnar, need to go tell him. Ragnar's looking at him like, dude, are you kidding me, right? So nuts and bolts is Ragnar winds up telling y'all Borg, yo, you can't go. And so y'all Borg, of course, was hot, but, and, and Ragnar is kind of saying, you, you know, he kind of threw the king under the bus without throwing him under the bus. Okay. Now the king and Ziggy, Ziggy, now, if you remember Ziggy from last season, her husband was the Earl and, um, he and Ragnar got in a fight because Ragnar wanted to sail west. He didn't want him to go. So Ragnar wound up killing the, the Earl, Ziggy's husband. Okay. So she is being a little snake in the grass. All right. So first Ziggy, she gets Rolo, finally gets him the courage, you know, go talk to your brother, make peace, whatever. But she goes to King Horik and like, look, I know Ragnar's strengths and weaknesses. And since you're allies, it's, you know, better for you to know his weaknesses. So Ziggy winds up sleeping with King Horik. Mm, you gonna have to watch her. Now, the other thing that's happening that's cool Athelstan. Now, if you remember Athelstan, first episode, he was a priest in um, that was captured as a, sl- as a slave in the first season. And Ragnar kept him as a slave. Well, um, now he's trying to be all Viking, which is very interesting from a religious standpoint because he was a Catholic priest. Now, closer to the end of uh, season one, Ragnar tried to sacrifice Athelstan when they went to sacrifice the gods, but he still had his cross on his wrist. And so the priest, the, um, the Viking priests there, um, that whole thing, they were like, no, he's unacceptable because he still, you know, believes in Jesus. Okay. So, um, but now He's supposed to be turned full Viking. So when they went and sailed west and landed at Wessex, freaking Athelstan was slinging an axe like this was his thing, right? So it's going to be very interesting from a religious standpoint to see what they do with this character because he was a priest and a devout Christian, and now he's turning Viking and just losing his mind. So from a religious standpoint, that's going to be awful interesting. Now, Oslog. This chick is telling the future, okay? So Ragnar, they were at dinner. Ragnar, some slave girl came up and was serving him, and he is checking this girl out. Oslog is looking at him like, what's your problem, right? And so um, then Oslog, you know, calls the girl, you know, come give me more food. And she tells the girl, you better be careful who you associate yourself with. Now, this girl ain't got nothing to do with this. This is Ragnar over here. And so Oslog is basically telling him, you know, how, why are you flirting with this chick in front of my face? So here's the side piece you know, telling Ragnar, don't be scoping out another side piece. Really, Oslog, you was a side piece. All right, I'm just saying. But anywho, so she's foretelling the future and she's telling Ragnar because she is pregnant again with the third child and saying that she's going to have another son, but he's going to have serpent eyes, right? So basically, she's foretelling the future here. So Oslog is not somebody to be trifled with because she calls Ziggy in and she's like, look, 
I know that you used to be in my position, but you're not now. And I don't blame you for wanting to be my in my position. So, you know, at least let's try to be friends. But look, Oslog is not somebody that's going to play. I love her, the way her character is developing, because I think she is going to wreak some major foolishness in this whole Viking community because she is not one to play. OK, she might look timid, but I think her character is developing to where she's going to be a major butt kicker in this community. OK. Uh, Rolo. So Rolo, you know, he's gone back to Ragnar, you know, saying, you know, I want to earn your respect back. And, you know, I'm asking you to trust me and all this. And so Ragnar brings Rolo in in front of um, King Horik and Jarl Borg and basically, you know, like minimizes his due, like totally emasculates him and saying, look, I accept you back as my brother, but I forbid you to sail with us. So, yeah, you my brother, but you got to stay home. And so, you know, so that really just emasculates him in front of these other people. And um, and so, you know, he leaves. But then after that, you know, that's when Ragnar tells y'all, uh, y'all Borg, no, you can't go with us either. All right. So then y'all Borg goes over to Rolo and is like, dude, what are you doing to yourself? You know, you I'm just ashamed of what you become. And Rolo's like, dude, what do you want from me? You know, and so y'all boys like you can separate yourself from your brother and finally become this warrior and all that. So at that point, Rolo reaches up and bam, just straight tags him in the face, knocks him out of the chair. It was hilarious. OK, so um, I think that about covers it. Oh, and um, where they landed in in England, King Egbert. Oh, this is um, this is a dude. If you watch Law and Order. This was the guy that replaced Jack as the ADA when J Jack uh, McCoy went on to be the district attorney. So this is the dude. I think he's, his character is Liner, so whatever, on Law and Order. Anywho, this is King Egbert. So I think this is going to be really good because evidently King Egbert is not someone to be trifled with either. So that's it. Tune in Thursday night, 10 p.m. Uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central. And hey, if you are on the West Coast and you've got HD, you can catch it at 7 o'clock in the evening, just like me. I'm so excited. Um, and, and hey, and if you don't set the DVR, look, I'd love, if you're a Vikings fan, I'd love for you to connect with me. Click on the link below. Join my community. We can hang out and talk Viking stuff as well as other things. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.